Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this magnificent Monday after Thanksgiving. Did you have a great Thanksgiving? Man, I did. What a wonderful, wonderful weekend we had. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Maynard and Maurice, they should still be with us, man, and still be killing it. Anyway, that all ties into sort of my weekend, and I'll explain how that goes. But I haven't touched the trumpet since uh, Wednesday. You do the math, that's about four and a half days. All right? Let's see what we got. I have a feeling I know what I've got, but let's see. That pedal feels, uh, feels really, really free. Feels wonderful. Hellacious. Double C's. A little barbed wire. A little orbit up an octave. And it finished up with caress the baby. No practice. Now, we'll get to that some other time. A little pedagogy. This is a little bit different. Let me explain. We had a wonderful, wonderful weekend uh, down in Delaware with my daughter, my wife daughter and I with extended family. It was at my, um, my niece's house in a suburb of Philly, just a gorgeous, gorgeous suburb of Philly. Very, very upper crust. It was, it was lovely. And my niece's and my, um, her husband's extended family. There was about 22 of us. Okay, and it just struck me. I am sitting there. I'm the oldest guy in the room. And except for my wife and daughter, guys, I'm the healthiest guy in the room. Now, God bless all of them. They're all extremely successful. But guys, every single one of them was overweight. Except the kids. The kids were uh, quite thin, actually. But all the adults were overweight. And, you know, just gorging on turkey, you know, champagne, turkey with bacon. You know, you've all been there. And I'm not passing judgment, but, well, I guess I am. But guys, listen, you've got to take care of yourself. And guys, make no mistake about it. It affects your trumpet playing. It absolutely affects your trumpet playing. Now, Maynard and Maurice, my guys, my guys, Okay? should still be with us, and they should still be playing. Mel Broyles should be still with us. Jerry should be still with us. I think out of that, those four that I just mentioned, I believe Maynard, my, they're all about the same age. I mean, it's just a cluster, you know, potato, potato. I think Maynard might, would have been 94 in there. Maurice would have been, I believe, 89 or 90. Guys, Take me and my, my fanaticism out of the equation. Guys, Doc's still doing it. He's still performing live. Has he lost some of his upper and lower register? Fine. Yes, he has. But his middle register sounds fast, fantastic. You've also, I, I suggested you all watch that documentary. He sounds fabulous with that flamenco type band and, and the tone and, and the control and everything is wonderful. He's 93. He might be 94 now. Guys, all those guys I mentioned are right in Doc's age. Now, Doc, like Maurice and Maynard, for sure, made no mistake about it. He had a drug and alcohol problem for the longest time, cleaned it up, 
and has now gotten into sort of a health thing. He's at the gym three times a week. You know, very, very concerned of compression and the core strength and all that sort of stuff. Not exactly the way I do it, but it works for him. But I tell you what, guys, I'm here to tell you, when I'm 100 years old, I will have double C's. That's 30 years from now, guys. Absolutely, 100% will have double C's. And unfortunately, many of you are not going to be around to say, I told you so, if I can't. And who knows what the heck YouTube is going to be in 30 years, if it's even going to be an entity. It probably won't. But that's that. Now, in the case of Maurice and Maynard, now let's start with Maynard. Maurice is pretty much an offshoot. It's very much the same thing. Now, Maynard died of acute kidney and liver failure. Okay? Now, I don't know if it was cirrhosis, Probably. Uh, he did have a drug problem. I mean, this is all well known. I'm, I'm, I'm not throwing, you know, throwing stones. And he drank right up until the day he died. I mean, there's absolutely no question about that. And what happens, guys, more so than actually losing brute strength in a traditional sense. And again, I've said a zillion times, this is not about brute strength, but it is about compression. That is what Maynard and certainly Maurice to the same degree lost. Now Maurice, I don't think had a drug problem, but he was good for at least two bottles of wine every night after the performance and just gorging himself on five, six, seven course meal. I mean, that was just common stuff. And both of them, towards the end of the career, were morbidly obese, at least 50, if not 75 to 100 pounds overweight. And guys, yes, it is not about, but you don't think that takes a toll on your trumpet playing? Think again. Now, I'm going to get right to the physiology of the whole thing. Okay? Now, as I said before, the compression is what keeps the strain off your lips. Okay? The compression is controlled by your tongue, and it goes down into your core, and with the use of hyperradiation, it goes to your whole body, the way we do it, okay? But let's just focus on the core for this, okay? Let me stand up for this. Now, if you have a 30-inch waist, <laughs> what can I say, guys? At my age, I'm proud of my waist. Come on. Anyway, this is much easier, especially with the core, the kettlebell and all this sort of stuff, to compress. Okay? Now, in Maynard's and Maurice's case, guys, if your stomach is literally out here, okay, and the band of abdominal muscles is out here, it is so much harder to compress because it has, it, it's just weaker from being distended so far, and it's not pressing against necessarily what it's supposed to be pressing against, okay? Now, I'll come back to that in a minute. But what you are compressing against, which, you know, you know um, gets the diaphragm into, into uh, the, the fray and all this sort of stuff, is technically your colon. That's what's down there. Now, your colon is 30 feet of squishy, squashy uh, matter. Okay, it's not quite a muscle, it's more tissue that expands. A big meal, it's going to expand, and when you get rid of the big meal, it will go back. It should be um, flexible, all right? But especially in the case of Maynard, with kidney and liver failure, all that is fluid, lymphatic fluid, that is backing up, okay? And possibly cancer, okay? Now, all this is trying to press against. This, all here, is your colon. And guys, that is squishy. That is very, very squishy. Okay? So if you, it's like the equivalent of taking your finger and pressing it against a hot water bottle or a balloon with water in it. It's squishy. There's no compression there. It's just 
bloat. It has to be closer in and that's compression. Guys, you're not getting it this way out there. That's your chops. And that, that, that's a fact. Now what happens when you're distended that far and your compression is like getting a leak in the tire or a leak in the balloon. Doesn't have to be a lot, but just enough that the compression lets go. And what happens? You have to create tension in different parts of the body. Usually it's your arms pressing like, that's why his lips are so mangled. Many people have trouble with their neck. They blow out their neck. The compression's in the wrong place, guys, if you're doing that. That's what happens, guys. And you have to take care of yourself. Jerry would still be with us if he took care of himself. He's another one with a belly way out there. His heart gave out, and the doctor told him that's why I have his trumpet. If he played, he would, he'd, his heart would die. He, he would die. Now, do we all have to be bodybuilders? Absolutely not. Quite the opposite. I've seen bodybuilders that try to play the trumpet that are terrible. That's a different type of strength. As I said, this is not brute strength. This is compression. Does it take a certain amount of strength? The tongue has all the strength it needs. The rest of the body, that's where your strength comes in. Kettlebell, PNF, that's the type of thing. Bodybuilding doesn't help you. Conventional weights don't help you. A little bit. Okay? But that's it. Anyway, Maynard, Maurice, Mel, Jerry. We can go right down the list. They should all be with us. And just like Doc, they should still be killing. Anyway. Glad we're back. Eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all. Okay.